This is question one of the 2019 Ordinary Level Leave Insert. On the screen is the question we have. It's about taxes, about paying your taxes. It's split into three parts. And I would recommend students not to get too panicked by how much words are in it, how much writing in it, is in it. Slowly go through it. They will be nice to you. Part A will be easier than part B. They will step it up for you. They will try and help you through this question. Take all the numbers down that you see. Try and read the question multiple times and see if we can understand it. I have on the board here the, all the numbers from part A. The person earns 40,000 a year. They are taxed 20% and they are taxed 40%. The 20% is on the first, the cutoff is on the first 35,300. 40% um, is on the rest and they have tax credits of 1,600. So we just have to know how to put this together. Now this question is asked all the time, so it is something you can practice multiple times. But what this person has to do is pay 20% on the first 35,000. So that's 0 0.2, that's 20%, 0 0.2 multiplied by 35,300. They have to pay this. This is some of the tax, sorry, they don't have to pay it, but this is some of the tax due. And this is equal to, 7060 they then have to pay more tax they have to pay tax on everything that's left after they've paid, they've used this money this money's been dealt with this 35300 has been dealt with they still have to pay 40% on what's left so what's left is 40000 minus 35000 uh, 300 which is 4700 so this tax, if you just multiply it, and go ahead, use a calculator. You don't have to um, do this in your head. This comes out as 1,880. So the total tax, uh, tax is equal to 7,060 plus 1,880. And that is equal to 8,940. That's all the tax due on their on their earnings but one last thing we get tax credits at the end of doing your tax you get this nice little reward you get this this is the tax you don't have to pay so our um our total our total payable tax what's the word we use for here income tax she pays so um payable payable tax is equal to 8,940 minus 1,650. Again, we put this in a calculator and you get your final answer to be 7,290. This number minus this number. Okay, well that's part A. I will rub this out and we'll do part B. Okay, part B. I'll keep the answer we had from part A here. Part B tells us that she, she has health insurance costs of 1,500. Always write down every number you come across. 1,500, find her annual income after paying tax and health insurance. Well, that's simple enough. Her, she got paid 40,000. She has to pay tax. Think of the things, what does she have to spend and what does she get? She gets her wages, she has to spend her tax and she also has to spend for health insurance. If we simply put that into a calculator, we get a uh, 3,100, a uh, 31,210. 31,210. Okay, I'm gonna need this answer in part C and I haven't used much space, so I'll just continue on here, I think. Part C changes everything. They, they give her a new job, they give her new um, different wages. So what you, you're gonna have to do in part C is do part A again, really with new numbers. For example, she doesn't have 40,000 now, she has 38,000. She still has to pay 20% tax. The cutoff is still, um, let me check the cutoff, it is 35,300. She still has to pay 40,000, sorry, 40% on the rest of that. And she still gets tax credits of 1,650. They also tell us that she gets paid 1,500, but it's tax-free. 
So we don't need to do it in our tax, it's tax free. We can add that on at the end, just as we take away the tax credits. We can leave that out of this part of it. She also has to pay um, her health insurance. That's the same number as the 1,500. That's gonna disappear, but we'll deal with that after seeing what tax she has to pay. She gets paid this, let's find out what tax she has to pay. Just like the first part, she's gonna pay 0 0.2 multiplied by 35,000 300 she's going to pay her base tax let's do it all in one line this time she's also then going to pay 40 percent 0.4 of what's left over so what's left over between these two numbers that is um do it on a calculator 38,000 minus 35,300 that is 2,700 let me just double check it is 2,700 yes i think it is i don't have it written down actually um and that's it. Let's uh, we put all that in the calculator, and we get it's equal to eight thousand one hundred and forty. That's how much tax she owes before her tax credits. So eight thousand one hundred and forty minus one thousand six hundred and fifty payable. Let's write that as payable equals tax equals here payable tax is then equal to 6,490. Okay, so what do we have? She gets paid 38,000, okay? She has to pay tax minus 6,490. She also gets plus 1,500, and that's her uh, bonus she gets, a tax-free bonus. It was not in the tax, it was after everything. And she also has to pay her health insurance, minus 1,500. Now these will just disappear. So it's okay if you did not write these. These do not have to be wrote there. That's fine. But you can put all of that into a calculator and you will get um, 31,510. This comes out as, this is how much money she has at the end of the year with this job in part C. Remember in part B, she had 31,210. So the question, they, this is not all your marks, that remember the question they ask is, find, the, find by how much Emer's net annual income after paying income tax and health insurance will increase if she accepts the job. So they actually give you a, a clue, they tell you she will get paid more in part C. And she does, she does indeed get paid a little more here. So if you did not get a bigger number here than here, something was probably wrong. You would have had to check your answer. So how much did they increase? 31,510 minus 31,210. That is equal to, I don't have a wrote down, but it is equal to 300. Her wages, her, not her wages, her net income increased by 300. Even though she got paid 2,000 less, well, she also got the bonus 1,500. So maybe she got paid 500 less. Either way, she got paid less, but she actually ends up with more money because it was tax-free, some of the money. Okay, that's, uh, that's the answer to question one. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and I'll be happy to get back to you.